There was a willpower to refuse such foods and resist temptation. In other words, Daniel was fasting. And fasting is to choose voluntary weakness for intentional dependence. I want to be weak in a season, God, so that I'm even more dependent upon you. And how many of you know that fasting in and of itself isn't just for fasting's sake? Fasting leads to a place of prayer. Because how many of you know that when you feel weak, you feel more dependent on God? That's why Paul would be so quick to say, when I'm weak, I'm really strong because I'm going to my place of strength, which isn't my flesh, it's my spirit, and my spirit is his spirit. Amen? And when you start to pray, you start to change your thinking a little bit. You see how that connects? Isn't that interesting that science and psychology would say that when you exhibit a certain level of willpower and discipline and habitual routine, that your thinking starts to change. But what do we call that in Christian circles? We call that renewing the mind. We're just not conforming to the patterns of the world. We're being renewed by the transformation of our minds.